On a crisp autumn morning, dozens of people set out to make a statement that millions of others around the world make with them every year. By the end of this day, more than a thousand people will participate in a local Relay for Life event in Woonsocket to raise funds and awareness in the fight against cancer. It's the number one fundraiser in the world. Howard Goodrow of the American Cancer Society says the 30-year-old event includes 4 million people in 20 countries taking part every year. The Relay for Life events are typically staged over a 24-hour period, with teams taking shifts. But this event has a twist. The relay is being held at the headquarters of CVS Health, with more than a third of the employees who work in three separate buildings taking time out of their workday to circle the campus with a unified message. People hear relay and they think, do we have to run? <laughs> you know, is this something I really have to run? But no, it, it's really just survivors, caregivers, friends, family getting together to celebrate life. Uh, and to celebrate those people that have fought the disease and lost and those who have fought it and are beating it today. We have started over the last few years trying to integrate Relay for Life into corporate settings. Folks from the corporate world don't necessarily see what we do in the communities, so we wanted to bring that sense of spirit and survivorship and well-being to the corporate setting. There's not a person in this building who doesn't know or is touched by cancer. CVS Health's Eileen Howard Boone helped lead the charge and says the company tried a similar on-campus event in Arizona that drew about 400 people earlier this year. All they have to do is walk out of their offices, join a team and walk around the building and walk around the course. And 1,200 of the 3,000 people who work at headquarters did, raising more than $34,000 in one day. CVS set up walking courses for each of its three main buildings located on separate parts of the 250-acre campus. The participants included Diane Bork, a 25-year employee in the company's IT department whose father died from cancer. This is, I think, one of the first on-campus events, so I think it's really, you know, allows people to kind of leave their desk for a short period of time, come in and participate and feel like they're, you know, engaged in what's going on, so. And is that what was attractive for you? Yeah, we really just asked people, donate one half hour of your time and come and participate. And we got some sunshine, so we're happy about that. I don't have a Howard, but if you want to register over here. Timmy Lynn White is a cancer survivor who was on the committee that organized the event. It's been four years since White had surgery for breast cancer, and while she has wanted to do a relay event, the timing had never been right until now. I was really happy that they're doing this. This is, this is an honor to all of us who are surviving. I just think it's a, a marvelous idea. I think that many corporations or, you know, I think it just should be a staple of what they, what they do do. Um, I think it's easier for people to be able to do this, especially in the workplace. Um, they're not taking a whole night out of their, you know, out of their family life or um, away from maybe young children. Uh, that they can't bring to the Relay for Life. I think it's a really great idea that they did this, and I hope that they keep do doing this each year. When you wear that sash, it sends a message. It does. Um, it sends a big message. I look around, and I see a lot of the sashes, and I think, wow, you know, so many people have been affected by this, um, any type of cancer. But we're amongst uh, a big group that we should be proud that we're here. A common theme at Relay for Life gatherings is the luminaria set up near the course. And this event is no different, with dozens of people writing personalized messages that everybody passed on the way to the course. Most of our events are overnight, so that's a big difference. Um, I don't think we're going to see any tents set up here today. That's probably the main difference, but in terms of the feel of the event and the excitement around the event, it really, it it crosses both ways. Goodrow said CVS's decision to remove tobacco products from all of its stores made this event a great fit for the company with the American Cancer Society. We lose about 160,000 people a year from lung cancer. Most of those incidences are caused by tobacco. It's the only product that, if you use it the way they ask you to use it, 
has a good chance of killing you. It is far exceeded our expectations. We were hoping for a couple hundred people, and so far we already have a thousand people signed up. So will this be a model for other companies? It's not going to be right for everybody, but on a campus like this where you have so many individuals here, it's absolutely a great fit, and we'd love to do more of them across the country. In Woonsocket, Jim Hummel for the Rhode Island Spotlight.